What the hell was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the Crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotted target practice. Bring around broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. Round shot for a start! Well done, boy! Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Try it again, boy. Come about and get all your muzzles on target. You missed. Best bring her round again. Some old powder in there. Good. Now give the swivel guns a turn, more precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Fast learner, provided something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Why is he shooting at us? Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace, take it back! What do we do? Naught else but to fight back! Sink the bastard! Use the swivels on him, Captain! Big big swattled another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from?
Carry on, sailor. Not bad for your first voyage, eh, boy? Now we best be getting back, or the old man will have my guts for garters. I got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. He weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Desmond, you'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. <laughs> if only they knew. What's this? A remote-operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Me. Nice to meet 
Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Yep. Beat you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures. Running diagnostics. Perfect. I've got a nice, strong signal. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on the not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively uh, paced. Shut up, Sean. Almost there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! A joke! It was a joke! Or was it?
That wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the counter. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, it doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. One way to find out. Son, I, uh, I owe you an apology. I, I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit... I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son, I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. Ah, Desmond, there you are. Can I ask a favor? Maybe. When this is all over, I'd like to try turning the dial back on the Animus. Like, all the way back. To the time of the first civilization. You think it would work? There was no real loss of fidelity when you visited Altair. Then again, that was about a thousand years ago, and 
I'm looking at going back at least 70,000 more. Sure, I'd be up for it. It'd be interesting to see what things were like back then. Excellent. I think it would prove most enlightening. So this is how it started. What are you up to? Just brushing up on my American history. Well, if I say history, they certainly teach you strange things in the States. Like what? Well, for all the talk of this being a revolutionary war, it was a civil one. Well, not that kind of civil. I mean, there was no America versus Britain. It was Brit on Brit action. And you can clearly see how the whole thing got started. One war gave birth to the other. You mean the Seven Years' War? Exactly. Seems the Crown overspent in its attempt to keep the French out, wound up with a great deal of debt. Believing that the colonists should help to shoulder the burden, new taxes were created. It was a reasonable request, even if Parliament was rather, well, undiplomatic about it. Well, it's not really fair to tax people for a war they didn't want any part of. What? Didn't want any part of? Did you not notice George Washington with Edward Braddock? He was right there in the middle of it. So here you have the Crown spending who knows how much money to secure a place for the colonists to thrive, and then, when they ask for a little bit of help... Right, look, think of it this way. King George and the colonists, they all go out to dinner, right? And when the bill comes, George asks for them to kick in and pay their share. Fair enough. But keep in mind, he's been taking them out to dinner gratis for decades now. But the colonists, oh no, they insist they only had a glass of water and a side salad. Never mind the table's full of half-eaten food and empty bottles of wine. Now when the king points this out, what do the colonists do? Oh, they flip the table over and they storm out the restaurant. Probably intending to turn later and burn it down. You left out the part where the king pointed a gun at the colonists and asked them to cover dinner for everyone in the restaurant. Right, right, yeah, interesting take. If he pulled out a gun, and I'm not sure he did, it would only have been after the hundredth failed attempt at getting them to pay their fair share. But how do you define someone's fair share? Oh, well, with a war, apparently. Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Kana! Spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? A Xing Bao, or rope dart if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot but... give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree.
Arcana. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good.
hell? Can you help me? Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What of the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. you be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. And living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this, the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. William Johnson's opening up some of that Mohawk land he purchased for free hunting soon. 
Might be we make a good hole up there. I hear tell London will be allowed to boot. Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No! I... Spare me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept.
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. 